Beautiful Ronnie, I uh, just wanted to do a quick show off video of some of the stuff I've been working on in a little uh, zombie survival shooter game. Uh, on the left here we have the game window, this is, oh sorry, this is Unity, uh, the Unity game engine uh, interface. Uh, on the left here we have the game window, so what the player should in theory be looking at, uh, albeit it is a little bit squished. Um, it's a bit laggy too because of the screen recorder, so apologies for that. Uh, and on the right here we have the scene window from Unity, so sort of showing what's going on behind the scenes, uh, a little bit more technical information like the, the gizmos and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I'll get into it. There's just a couple of things I want to talk about. That's mostly the uh, searching, shooting, and the pathfinding of the zombies. Um, it's all pretty basic stuff uh, at this point, but it's working pretty nice together, so I'm happy with it. Um, on the right here, you can see the player has this white uh, wireframe sphere around them. That's sort of uh, indicating the detection radius of the zombies. Uh, at the moment, the player's not really making a lot of noise or running around or whatever, so it's pretty small. Uh, you can get around most of the zombies fairly easily. You notice they're not sort of reacting to him at all. Uh, those little green lines are the path findings. So when a zombie has a path um, and it works out where it's going, those lines will update and they'll show how he's going to get there, etc. Um, so what I'll do, I'll just show you at the moment. Uh, like I said, we're not really moving, uh, we're not really running around or anything. So I'll show you what happens when we do. Watch this white sphere. Boom. Look at this. So straight away the zombies are onto me. They know what's going on. And as you can see, they're all starting to move on in, uh, focusing on the player. Once again, I move out of range, and it sort of doesn't doesn't seem to affect them as much. Whoops, it's getting a bit laggy. Yeah, you can see they're sort of following as much as they're able. If I run, boom, they're all onto me. They uh, see what's going on here. <laughs> so, uh, same applies for when you fire a shot with a gun. And I'll just zoom out a bit so you can get a good idea of this. So at the moment, that's the normal detection sphere. If I'm running, that's the the size of it. If I shoot, boom. Now it's a different sphere, so you can still see the other one. But once again, if I pull out that gun, it'll show me the how big that detection is going to be. And if I fire, you'll notice, boom, all the zombies start updating their location to me. It takes a little bit. I've split it out so it doesn't lag the, the game down too much. Yeah, you can see there, they're all starting to move on in. Let's uh, start shooting some of these suckers with the little submachine gun we got going on here. Uh, at the moment, the player's got a pistol, which is just bang, bang, bang. Doesn't do a lot. Oop. <laughs> but if we uh, get that submachine gun out, let's see what we can do. Now, this is uh, very laggy with the screen recorder. Just gonna fire a few shots in there. Whoa! <laughs> they don't actually do anything to the player at the moment, so this is kind of just for fun. Um, the shooting's pretty cool too. It's worked on a random chance, so uh, it's basically a one in three chance it'll actually kill them. Otherwise, the shot just sort of doesn't do anything. Just impacts and puts a little cube out there to show the blood, uh, and away we go. But yeah, you have to actually get a one in three chance of of killing them, which I think makes it a bit cooler. Sort of simulates the idea that you've got to get a headshot or you've got to get a good shot on them. Um, and the lag's sort of throwing this around a little bit. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, now, the other thing I just wanted to show very quickly, because that's sort of the shooting and the pathfinding and the, the detection all working, uh, is the searching of items. Uh, it's getting a bit hard because these just try and draw them away a bit because they're all right near where I want them to, where I don't want them to be. I just shoot so they're all over here and move away so they all should start moving to my location but if I just sort of sneak off here won't matter too much you can see here the horde off they go <laughs> oh, I love it it's not perfect but it still looks pretty good so yeah, here we have uh, some items that you would probably once the game world's a bit more complete uh, find inside a building. I hope to have like interiors modeled somehow. Uh, I'm still working on the theory behind all that. But uh, if we come up to a searchable item such as a cupboard and we search it, boom, it spits out whatever items it's got. The player should at some point be able to pick these up uh, and they'll contribute to his inventory and, and all the rest. And I'm hoping to basically only have, it's going to be very simplified, there'll just be like food, scrap metal, uh, and ammunition, sort of the only three things you can have, and from that everything will be made, uh, food will heal you, and blah blah blah, 
Uh, so basically, yeah, if we get close enough and just hit search, the player will just search all the, the nearby items. Uh, it's not a huge radius, which sort of keeps it a bit nicer. Um, and can all be worked out. Yeah, that's basically all, not a lot to it at the moment. Um, that's all taken about a week <laughs> to get going so far. A um, few challenges in there, the usuals. Working with new new ideas and concepts. Um, the pathfinding, by the way, has been provided by the uh, A-Star Pathfinding Project, which is an asset on the Unity Store. Uh, very good little one. It's just a free version, which is more than featured enough for my needs. Um, yeah, it's a good little thing, and it's it's not that hard to implement. So if you've ever been a bit afraid of pathfinding, it's uh, definitely something to check out. Um, yeah, that's about all there is to it at the moment. Some cool little features. Uh, I'll get more in-depth into how it all works in some later videos. Cool, thanks.